guys, we're here with another journal page done on a oversized playing card. Again, I will try to remember to link the listing in Amazon where you can get these kind of cards um, in the description below. And they're fun to create on, but you don't need to have them. You could use chipboard, an art journal page. You could do it on anything. It's just kind of nice every now and then to use something unusual and out of the norm, to be honest. So this month I wanted to do something uh, with my current favorite quote, which is of course at the moment coffee related. I have a number of favorite quotes, but that's the one I wanna work on today. And we're gonna just do something simple and easy and quick. I, and again, have filmed this before I moved. So I had at the time very limited supplies. Most everything was packed or being packed in the whole house, including the art room. So I start out by, sanding the card lightly and then wiping it clean with a baby wipe and because we're going to do painting and drawing i um, give the card a good coat of gesso and let it dry completely i am using windsor and newton gesso i'm not sure i do know it's from walmart it was really cheap um, gesso doesn't have to be expensive it's a little smoother and shinier than i'm used to i'm used to using liquitex gesso um, which is grittier, um, but they both have their uses and they're both fine. Do what, Use what you can afford. If you have neither, use white paint. Use what you have. Uh, you could also collage some paper onto the card. Just something so that you have a better substrate than the shiny card is to do some artwork on because the glossy surface of the card um, is not the best. So uh, you want to put something there. So now I'm just drawing it with a heat tool because of course I have absolutely no patience. Um, again, because of the kind of paper we're working on and the fact that we're working with a gesso, which is an acrylic paint basically medium, um, you wanna be careful you don't have the heat gun in one place for too long or it will bubble. Um, also the plastic coating on the card underneath will bubble. So you, if you wanna have that texture in your background, go for it, but um, do be careful. Um, these heat embossing tools do get really hot. So you wanna, take some precautions. Once it's dry completely, then we can get started. You don't want to do any drawing or anything on the card until all your layers of gesso are done and dry. I did decide I wanted a second layer so I would cover up more of the card and have a whiter blank slate. Again, I do find these cards a challenge to work on, which I find interesting. I'm not always super concerned about covering up all of the card. Um, I just usually, in the case of this particular one, want most of it covered. Um, so we're going to give it our best shot. I do think a little bit shows through in the final piece, at least when you see it in person. I'm not sure it's going to show up on camera. So once you have that all done, and I'll spare you the um, trials and tribulations of watching all of that, um, because, you know, who wants to just see me play with the heat gun for eternity? Um, <laughs> Then we can get started on the next stage of the process. And my quote is coffee related. So I am going to quickly do just a simple, easy sketch of a coffee cup. Uh, I am using a pen. I do believe it is a um, Inkjoy gel pen in brown, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Inkjoy makes some super affordable gel ink pens in different colors. They don't have tons, but they what they do have I like, and they're easy to get. Um, while the pen is wet, it is water soluble, so I'm going to use a water brush to spend it, spread it around and aid me with my shading. Um, I love to use my pens um, and the ink from them to help me with my paintings. And so that's what we're going to do here. And we're going to add shadows. We're gonna, I'm going to try to keep this really simple. I don't want to um, have it get too complicated because it's not about the artwork in the background. It's about the quote, really. The artwork is just to um, suggest and emphasize the quote. I'm, I also tend to use baby wipes, as you see here, to spread ink around and blend edges and things. And then, of course, the requisite heat gun to get things all dry. Next thing I'm going to do is tear up some jelly printed uh, paper that was um, painted on with some of my stencils from my stencil line. I'll link the Etsy shop in the description below. I have a number of different stencils and rubber stamps of, that I've designed in my shop. And I'm gonna collage some of those on the cup and give it sort of, I guess, a pattern to the coffee cup. I don't know 
too many of us who drink out of a plain colored coffee cup, myself included. Um, so we are going to add some collage bits to our coffee cup. And I am using um, matte medium to gel, to glue them down. I don't want to use anything too glossy to glue the pieces to the cup. That'll make it difficult to write over if I decide to add more writing to the uh, page at some point. So, and I probably will. So I am using matte medium because when it dries, it's easier to write over. And it's also, honestly, it was on the table. I could find it, I knew where it was. So we're just continuing with the collage process and then we're going to get that dry and then we will continue on. I, of course, am using the heat gun because, you know, I have no patience. So this is just some coffee ink. Um, it's just coffee boiled down until it's really thick and really undrinkable, even for me who likes strong coffee. And then I put a little bit of glycerin in it to prevent it from evaporating or growing mold. Um, and it makes a really nice ink um, and a page stain. No, it's not archival. Um, no, it's probably gonna fade, but you know, we're mixed media artists. It's gonna be stuck in a journal somewhere, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna use the coffee ink to um, tint the page and have it be not so white to help me with my shadows. Uh, you could of course use watered down brown ink for this or severely watered down brown paint. Use what you have. I had the coffee ink, it was already made, so that's what we're using. Now I'm going to take my Bic pen and I am going to, it's black, so I'm going to use it to emphasize certain lines and shapes in my artwork, in my drawing. Again, it's just a simple drawing. Anybody could do it. Um, I'm going to add some swirls for coffee steam uh, with a uh, distress um, crayon. I love my distress crayons, by the way. And then I'll add some uh, broken lines with my Inkjoy gel pen. Uh, the distress crayons are nice because once they're dry, they're permanent. That was like the bag of pens that I had <laughs> during the moving process. That was all I had. Um, so here I have another pen. I, I don't know what pen this was, but I'm going to write the quote in this black pen, which I saw on, I believe the first time I saw it was on my Facebook page. And... Um, it actually made me laugh out loud. So those are the kind of quotes I like. And at this point in time, it was a very stressful time for me because we were packing up the house and getting ready for to move. And my house and brain were in complete chaos. So to have something just make me stop and laugh out loud was really great. I needed that. And it says, I tried to start my day without coffee. Which I'm writing on the cup. And I do think I go over that with a blacker pen because... I don't think you could see it very well. I don't remember now. We'll have to watch the video and find out. My court date is next week. Or is pending. I love that. So I tried to start my day without coffee. My court date is pending. Yeah, because I would totally not be able to do that at all. So that's it for this month. I hope that you have fun maybe creating some artwork uh, out of your favorite quote. And I can't wait to see what you all do. I would love to have you share. If you would like to join my Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression, the link is in the description below with along with any other relevant links. And if I forget one, somebody remind me. Uh, that's it for right now. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Thank you.